Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. And I just wanted to wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. This is from my neck of the woods. Actually, in my backyard. We wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas, and a Happy New Year. Hi Gemini, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your December 25th through December 31st weekly love reading. Now this is intended to be a love reading, we will see what comes up. Keep in mind that this is not a private reading, it's for a general audience, so... You know, only bits and pieces may resonate. Uh, the whole thing may resonate or none of it may resonate. Okay. I have pre-shuffled this deck. So I'm only going to shuffle it for a moment. Oh, that's the sign of Gemini. That represents the sign of Gemini. That's funny, huh? As above, so below means that you have the power to create whatever you want. The power to manifest. You are in control. It's all about your awareness. It's about you taking action to succeed. If you want to succeed, you have to do it yourself. But, okay, this is, okay, I'm just going to have to pull these down for a minute. Okay, right here. You have to take action to succeed. You do. Okay? You have to take the action. It's in your hands. The power is in your hands. Do you want to succeed or not? This card is contradictory. This is not taking action when it's reversed. So if you want to succeed in something, it's in your hands. You have to take action to succeed. And it appears that this has to do with a, some kind of commitment. Maybe you're looking for a commitment or you're looking to get married or you're looking for that ultimate partner. But the thing is, is if you are withdrawn, if you're not putting yourself out there, if you're not um, showing love to others or, you know, you're not participating or, you know, if you're not really, I mean, if you want this love, because it looks like it's love that's wanted here. You know, it could be for anything though. You have to take action. If you're withdrawn or if you are feeling overly emotional, emotional, if you're sitting around in your pajamas crying about it instead of taking action, then, you know, I can't help you. But anyway, we're going to put these back on there. You know? So this right here tells me that <laughs> it is about love. So this is definitely about love. I just noticed this one. I hadn't even looked at it before. Um, and now it tells me, you know, you want more. You're looking for more. You want love. You want that happily ever after. You want balance. You want peace and harmony in your life. But the fact of the matter is, is it's in your hands. It, the power is in your hands to go out and get it. You have to let go of your insecurities. Okay? You do. You have to follow your inner guide. And, you know... You have to take action. You absolutely do. Because we here we have the Wheel of Fortune, but it's reversed. It's like you have to have a change of course. A change of course is needed. And it's in your, you know, it's in your actions on how you act. If you want this this love that it looks, appears that you do, you're going to have to do something about it. You have to change something. And I'm sorry to tell you that. Something needs to change. And that's that's what I see. Um, there's moping going on and, and having regrets. And I think there's some inner conflicts within yourself. Time for a renewal, time for a rebirth, time for a transformation, time for a whole new you, Gemini. It's time to look at things from a new perspective completely. I mean, to turn into the new you. It's going to be a new year. So perhaps at the end of this, at the end of this year, the end of December, you're contemplating what you want, your next path, your forward path to be. I mean, that's what it looks like to me. You're doing a lot of inner work at the end of this month, okay? Because you want that ultimate love. So, maybe you're going to maybe you have to make a choice. I mean, maybe you have to make a choice. 
um, between work or love. You know, what's it going to be? Is your work, your career, whatever you do for work going to be the top of the list? Or is love going to be the top of the list? Because, I mean, this guy puts work as his main focus. This one is more focused on love. So that's what I see. You guys have to make a decision. You know, you do. If you, if you want this commitment, you have to decide what's going to be at the top of the list. Is it going to be work, career, money? Or is it going to be relationship, love? I mean, what's it going to be? That's that's the deal so it feels like you know it's time for you to open up spiritually and perhaps that's another thing you're working on at the end of this year the end of uh, December um, is becoming more spiritually awake you know um, seeking spiritual guidance you know I see kind of like an awakening here where you're waking up spiritually um, and I see that many of you are in search of your soulmate if you're single, you know, there's there I'm looking for my soulmate at this time that kind of thing um, And I do see a definitely a transformation on the horizon And I think you guys are headed in that direction You just have to take action and you and I I really feel like there's a divine connection here You know, there's a divine connection with you and somebody from up above could be God angel spirits universe or You know somebody that's passed away, but there is definitely a divine connection where somebody is assisting you so keep that in mind <laughs> there is some kind of uh, Secret that's not really a secret though. You know what it is you need to figure this out. I mean, you need to uh, do something about it. You know there's a secret going on, but I don't know what it is, but you do, because this is for hundreds and thousands of people. There is something that has been causing you some stress, but I think it is about to come out on the table, okay? Whatever the secret is, it's going to come out on the table, and it's going to relieve a lot of stress. Um, I feel like you guys have finally decided, you know what? I'm looking for more. I'm going to follow my own path and I'm going to have faith. I'm going to have faith in in my new path and my new new me cuz I see I see a huge transformation here Gemini. I really do where you guys are transforming from being stuck in something that was unhappy. It's a state of mind being stuck in some state of mind where I think that you're letting that go and you're bringing balance, you're bringing peace and back to your life. No more regrets, no more crying over it. No more being stuck here. I'm going to, this is going to be a new year for me. You know, I see a year of awakening, you know, whether it's spiritual awakening or what, but there's, a, this is a, this is a, well, why am I saying year? Got to be a reason for that. But anyway, this is at the end of this month, you guys are starting the process, you know, and it's about consideration where you want to be. And I think you guys are having some clarity too. You're, you, the, the messages that you need to get are definitely coming through to you. So pay attention to whatever messages you get. Could be through your thoughts. Could be through your dreams. Whatever. Pay attention to them because I think that you are being assisted from somebody from the other side. Um, you could be dealing with here. I mean, even there, I don't know. I'm going to tell you who we got here. We got Taurus. We have uh, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries. We have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have you. The first card that came out, it represents the sign of Gemini. And I know what that is. You guys are seeking balance, and it's time to have it. And your thing is, all you got to do is take action. Take action. Whatever's been going on in the past, you just need to move forward. Let it go. Goodbye. Not looking back. It's my path now. It's my journey now. And I don't care what you think. <laughs> that kind of thing. Um, insecurities are going away. Okay. You had some insecurities, but I think towards the end of this month, they're starting to, to uh, dissolve. You know, I think the insecurities are starting. And you do have... Like an a angel. I think it's an angel. Some kind of angel. I don't know where that's... But I got goosebumps. And it feels like there's there's somebody from the other side that is with somebody who's watching this. Okay? It's time to close the door to the past. Okay? It is. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my, the goosebumps. I wish you could see them. Okay, so this is the past. This is the past. And this is the transformation. It's the death card. It's the end of the past. I just, and this is closing the door. I was saying closing door to the past. Then the past came out and it's right there. That's freaking amazing. I love it when that happens. Anyway, when you do that, it leads to wish fulfillment. It leads to a new door opening. Okay? It does. It will, it will, it will bring you the good fortune that you've been seeking. And good fortune can come in many, many ways. But right now, this is reversed because you do have to close the door to the past completely. And then this new door will open and this card will flip over. Okay? In the past, there was some lies, there was some deceit, there was some sneaky shit that was going on. But the thing is, is you knew about it. You did. Like I said, there was a secret. You knew something was going on. Okay. Oh boy. So we had the lover's card reverse. It could be regarding another person. You know, that was sneaky. There might have been some cheating. There may have, might have been some lying. I got a sneeze coming, so I apologize. <coughs> Excuse me. You <clears throat> can't hold in a sneeze. Anyway, that's the Gemini. It represents Gemini as well. The lover's card. It is reversed. So there's consequences for your actions. So I don't know if you were lying or you were sneaky or somebody in your, in, it, it didn't have, doesn't have to be you. It could be the person you're dealing with. All right. There's something that, there's consequences for actions here. The lovers brings consequences. It's when, you know, there's an unexpected choice in love and somebody can't deny it. Okay. And it is right next to that lies and deceit card. So there's been some kind of lies and deceit. Um, and this doesn't have to be with a lover per se. It can be with a fa family member, okay? There's been something that came out on the table that still needs to be let go of. You haven't quite let go of it yet, but you're damn close. You're close to bringing that balance back. You're, you're close to healing, okay? This all happened for a reason, and it happened because you needed to wake up. You needed to have this awakening. You needed to start your new journey. And that's why this happened. Even if there was strife or there was some kind of BS that happened, it happened for a reason because it needed to push you in the right direction. And I think that because that has happened, you are headed in that right direction very, very quickly. Okay. And I feel like wish fulfillment is right around the corner. But I think the end of this month, the last week of December is the beginning of your transformation, the beginning of your new start. This is the death card. When the death card comes up, it's not a physical death. It's the death of the old you that is going to bring you balance and healing. You could have a Sagittarius that comes into your life or is in your life prominently that could help to fulfill your wishes. Okay, I'm just saying could or may not be. Um, yeah, there may be a little overindulging the, at, <clears throat> at the end of this month. You know, it is the holiday season still. New Year's Eve is upon us. You know, you could, you could uh, meet somebody at a New Year's Eve party or something like that. You know, um, you know, where there's a lot of alcohol. Oh boy. Uh -huh. Funny. Son of a gun. They're right after me today. Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. I just got done talking about addictions where there's a lot of alcohol. Whatever. Whatever. Anyhow. It is what it is. You take it however, however you want, okay? That's in your reading for a reason. It's time for a change. It's time for a transformation. Maybe you, you end the year with a hell of a note. I don't know. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. They are. All of them. All of your feelings are real, okay? Keep that in mind. I also have to throw it out there, you know, somebody from your past, from your childhood, you know, you could run into them at the end of this month, okay? So, because the cards can mean so many things, all 
right? And I just I just happened to look at this card again. And I and I think that, you know, if you go to a party and you're single, you know, you could run into somebody that you knew a very long time ago. Okay? And you could start to I mean you the there could be a spark, like instant spark. An instant spark if you're single. How about anyway? I see a transformation on the horizon, and I think the end of this this uh, year, the end of this month, is a new beginning, Gemini. Congratulations. <laughs>